256 ending with the help of semicolon now next to that we have to plot the gain here so to hold the gain value and for computation of the gain value we require a variable let us simply have small g to be the gain variable here so gain can be computed as per the standard formulation into the decibels that is why i make 20 in multiplication to the logarithm of to the base 10 here and this is with respect to the absolute value of the filter response that we have obtained into the above step and that is with the help of variable small h here so absolute of small h we are providing to obtain the gain by the logarithm function here so this is just the formulation of the gain here now the main task of plotting so for plotting purpose we shall be making the use of plot command and to this plot command as we require there should be a plot of w by pi so pi will be the constant variable as we know and the gain value shall be plotted onto the another axis here so for both the x and y axis we have specified the parameters here and we want it to be plotted with the help of a grid here and by the next line we can also label the axis of this plot so x axis and y axis here we have so for x axis we write the matlab syntax x label and thereupon we will like to have the printed omega representing the frequency domain so slash omega divided by slash pi as the variable so these symbols will be printed onto the x axis whereas for y axis we have the matlab syntax y label and thereupon we shall be printing the gain and this gain as we have just now formulated with the help of 20 log to the base 10 of the absolute value in the frequency domain we have obtained so this is of course in terms of decibels so hence i mentioned decibels small d capital b here so this is the matlab syntax and the script is completed now so let us have this matlab script saved here so i just save this matlab script with the name let us give it the name program 2 underscore 18 here as the topic number so we have saved it to the current directory so for both the first and second chapter we are utilizing the same current directory so matlab programs now the name has appeared to the editor tab as the file is created into the current directory now it's time to execute this particular program so let us run this file so as we run this particular file it is getting us prompted at the command window here so the command window is asking us certain information as we have utilized input function in this matlab script so it is asking enter the filter length so for example here we are taking the filter length to be 23 here hitting the enter now it is asking us to enter the value of l so as we have been designing the lth band a higher filter so the value of lth band which particular band we will like to have so that value first of all let us say i provide it to be 2 here so hitting the enter here we are obtained with a matlab window so here i can maximize this matlab window here you can see here the two axis x axis and y axis here we have on to the horizontal axis we have omega by pi these are the values and onto the vertical axis the gain is plotted and that has been computed in terms of decibels here so as we can see here the horizontal axis is providing the range right from 0 to 1 and around 0 to 0 0.67 we have the first slope that has been started at the 0 decibels and we come up to near about minus 81.85 decibels here then next the things here we have and these values can be checked here so this is the most negative value minus 90.56 in terms of decibels here so this is the output 
plot with respect to the response that we have obtained for the design LED band FIR filter here. Now if we can close this window and execute this program again, we specify the filter length value again to be the 23 and L here we select to be 3 here. So that time you can see this is somewhat the change we obtained into the output here. So the values of the decibels corresponding to the gain have been changed. The most extreme value we find minus 94.44 decibels here for the gain here. Closing it, executing it again, again the filter length we specify to be 23 and the value of L we specify to be the 4 here. Now the change you can notice on the initial side here we have the most negative gain in decibels minus 109 here and the changes that you can compare with respect to the other earlier specifications here also we can vary the filter length let us say it is 50 and the value of l let us say it is 5 so here you can see the plot of the gain that we have obtained for the design let the band f higher filter here so this is what the output we have obtained. So this was the simple MATLAB demonstration with respect to the design of filter here.